please enter your name. Oh, wow, so this is how we're gonna start. Alright, before we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is your one and only Chicken Salad, here with Mad Rat Dead, the demo. For the long-time viewers, you already know what this spiel is. I'm here to play as much demos, alphas, betas, trials, you name it. Early access, whatnot, just so I can find that hidden gem. I'm kind of bored of playing the same game over and over again, so in hopes of playing these type of demos, I'll find something I would really like to enjoy. Without further ado, let's begin. No, it's not gonna fit. You have a dream. Yes! Oh, yes! Who doesn't? Okay, <laughs> this is a bit, um, confronting. This seems to be like a, a lab experiment going on with this rat. You don't want sad things to happen? Wait, 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 is, isn't this, uh, one of those questions if I say yes, I don't want sad things to happen, or no, I don't want that sad things to happen? Aren't they both yeses? I'm gonna say no. If you can save many, you should try. Yes! There's something you regret? Always. Jesus, what kind of game did I just download? Things are more important than life exists? Hmm. No. That's why this rat should be killed, should be saved. I don't know why, it, what, what's going on? Fuck it, should be killed. You blank humans. I, I both love and hate them, so... But I am trying to pro propel humanity forward, so I guess I do love them. Play with headphones for a better experience. Way ahead of ya. Ooh, NIS! Ah! Cryware. Interesting. Mad Rat Dead. Trial version. Okay. Music's nice and upbeat. Do you see the cheese? I do. Follow the beat. You hear and run. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, damn! I wonder if there's like a perfect... It's a rhythm game! Okay. So I have to keep the beat and move at the same time. <laughs> I'm doing a head spin. Oh, it's like a Sonic. It's like Sonic. <laughs> damn, okay. I'm, I have no rhythm. How did I even get A? That's terrible. I should not get A. I had no rhythm. I'm not, not no rhythm, I got no beat. I know I probably don't need to grab it, but... Oh shit! <laughs> Backwards time. Yeah, let's go there. Oh, so once you've collected it, it's collected. That's good. I like the fact that the beats change, slowly changing. Oh man, if you don't get the beat right, you're dead. I like it. This is really cool. Hey, I, th I think they need to be a little bit more harsh with the results though. I'm definitely not on beat. Oh, what was that? Flash? Oh, what was that again? You're the one who's wrong. Boss battle? What is going on? Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Boss battle? Whoa! Okay. Oh, stay away from me. That's mean. Look at it. Exactly. Oh, shit. Do oh, shit. Oh. That's not good. Oh, shit. Should have went straight to the middle. I can do that. All jump. Yep. Oh, you fucking tricked me. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, what now, bitches? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I just, I just decide my fate there. There we go. Still can't believe I got an A for that. That was the Mad Rat Dead demo or trial version. I'm not good at rhythm games, so <laughs> this doesn't really help me out. So please put that into um, your consideration from what you're hearing. So first thing, we gotta talk about the music. I like the music. It's nice, upbeat, catchy, and they seem to have mixed a bit of the um, old school, I don't even know what, what era that is, like the gangster era, with a bit of um, uh, dubstep involved as well. And I really love this upbeat nature of the music. And I'm assuming the reason they put this upbeat music is so you, you know, you play to the beat and it's supposed to be fast. And I'm kind of hoping that there'll be some stages where it's really fast, like tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 you know, something like that. Just something like that, just so it throws you off, but obviously it keeps within the loop, so you'll always know when to do it. I was kind of hoping that some of the music, because I do I, I do understand it has to loop, I was kind of hoping that as you play, there'll be like a perfect run where the music beat matches the perfect actions that you're supposed to be doing throughout that level. So almost like a speed run kind of thing. I would prefer to be more skill based rather than um, memory based, but with most rhythm based games, it does come down to memory. I guess the only difference with this rhythm game is that you can choose the direction you want to go. So pressing the corresponding buttons, it's not too complex, but once you add the beat, it does become a little bit uh, complex for me at least, uh, because I'm not someone who's very um, on beat, so to speak. <laughs> uh, there goes my dreams of making music, eh? In that sense, it does get really confusing every now and then. But they don't deviate too far from what you would expect from other games, so that does help a little bit. But yeah, me trying to keep it in the beat and trying to press the corresponding buttons, it's like two parts of the brain that's just not refusing to work together. So I do like how they put those little, I'm going to call them time triangles, because that's what it seems to be, where it gives you extra time. Um, and also they use it because it rewards you with extra time. It also directs you which direction you're supposed to go. Now I'm wondering if there are any like secret pathways that you can go into. I don't know if the trial version will have it, but it seems like there were some areas. And it feels like um, if they are going to introduce something like that, maybe they will have they'll have like two pathways going through. But in saying that, it would be really nice to also have again. It would be nice in the trial version at least to have one where they varied the beat quite a bit just to kind of show you the the wide ranges that you can actually get into in this game. Now let's talk about the visuals, eh? Reminds me a lot of those Flash games back in the past. When you're when you're in the moment and playing the game, it doesn't really um, phase you as much. The aesthetics is pretty much there. It doesn't bother me as much as I first thought it would because when I first saw it, I was like, oh no, Flash games. Now. I do have a soft spot for flash games. Some of, you don't get the fluidity movement that you can get with um, other like hand drawn or 3D modeling. So for those who don't enjoy that kind of aspect, uh, it might phase you, but most likely it won't phase you, if you, especially when you're trying to focus on the beat. The way everything is drawn and the way they put some of those thick lines, that are cut, uh, thick outlines, I think that's perfect for the game. It suits it very well, and overall aesthetics, in terms of the visual and the music, is pretty pretty good. In terms of the story plot, pretty simple. It seems to be like there's three parts to it. For some reason, when I saw the heart, to me that that thing looked evil because it, I don't know why. It's something about the heart with the art, the like a almost like a not a snake eye but like like a cat eye. That kind of throws me off. I feel like there might be a twist somewhere. So there's three three parts to the story. Rat's gonna die, so he's gonna go try to find and kill the human. Two, they made you do that questionnaire at the beginning. So I'm wondering if it impacts how the 
like the story progresses or just a minor change and it might be something you know philosophical like oh would you kill one to save many or some some shit like that and three the rack god so you got the heart and the rack god and the your reason for living now to be honest there's nothing too sus about the rack god except the way that the rack god looks like and the rack god doesn't want him to kill the human you know wants this rat to enjoy his i guess his final hour so to speak then you got the heart who just comes out of nowhere and goes, Oh wow, what happened? Oh, we're gonna get killed. Oh no, we can't, we can't do that. We gotta start killing the human. Plays off it as being aloof. I'm wondering if it's like the dark side, light side kind of thing, you know? And then you got the, the rat, the mad rat, whose sole mission is just to go and get justice in his own way, which is killing the human. I get the feeling the story is gonna bend towards you making a choice. Like, do you kill the human or you don't? And it's gonna be a few choices like that. Now, I wanna go back and talk about the boss battles. Uh, the boss battle is cool. I can see in this game, especially the rhythm game, the boss battle is going to be very cool. Uh, there's going to be a lot of because it's one hit death, so you're going to have to play with the beat and then you have to go around and do your stuff. The fact that you can rewind time though, and they, they should put like a hard mode where if you rewind time, you take time off your overall time as well. Just something like that, just so it keeps things interesting so that you don't keep rewinding all the time. But I'm assuming they kind of went around that by providing you a score, a scoreboard at the end. So it doesn't matter how many times you died, but it affects your score. Maybe that's the reason why they put that. I think it would be an interesting mechanic to see like a boss battle where even if you dodge like all these perfect paths or like a maze, you went all the right, uh, you went all these different directions. But if you can't rewind it all the way back, you're screwed, kind of thing. But I get the feeling they're not going to do something like that because, again, it's one of those games where you want to be fast, efficient, and effective as possible to get the best score that you can, I guess, see the ranking with everybody else in the world. And I feel like that's how the game is uh, built. So yeah, overall, I think the game is pretty cool for a rhythm game. Most rhythm games are just press buttons, but this one has directions. I like to rate all the trials. A yeah, meh, or a nah. Yeah being most likely to buy and play. Meh being eh, uh, maybe. And a nah being most likely not. So I give this a uh, surprisingly meh. I think this game has its merits. Uh, the aesthetics of it, the, the cartoonish vibe that you kind of get from it. From the drawings and the dialogue that they have with Rat God and the heart. And with the other rats as well. It kind of has that kind of feel to it. And the music definitely helps a lot with that as well. It's definitely not a nut because there is some merit to this, especially with the boss battles and the rhythm beats. I think there's a lot that can go into it. And I didn't mention this before, but the game mechanics is where if you miss the button, you don't get the, the maximum benefit they can when you get it great. I was kind of hoping instead of pressing uh, the charge up button that if you can actually hit the perfect note so like most rhythm games you get poor miss if you completely miss it you get a poor or if you're early then you get great or good and then you get excellent or max or something like that so you're like hitting it right on the note and I think they should implement something like that having something like that would definitely give you more incentive to stay on beat rather than trying to get it as close as possible so that's the thing that would have sold me if they put a level where there was, it was high beat and I'll just be like tap, 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 and directions and all that stuff. Of fast beats, and then it gives me a small moment to breathe, and then more fast beats, you know? Keep the game flowing, kind of thing. But yeah, obviously, um, if I wanted to get that high score, I'll be playing it over and over again, and have that ability to go faster and smoother. Because that's kind of what I'm envisioning this game to be, is I keep pressing it, the right buttons, right combinations, right directions, and it just looks smooth and fast and hectic. But yeah, overall it's a meh for me. So tell me in the comments down below if it's a yeah, meh, or not for you, and why. And as always, take it easy. Until next adventure, I'll see you there.